about 10 years ago, my dad calls me up and says, David, I found a lot and I want you to drive up there and meet me there. Once I got up to where the lot was, I stopped, I got out of my car and I looked and I'm like, you know, dad, that's, as I point down the driveway, is where the Sharon Tate murders took place. We ended up buying the lot and we built the house. I have no way of knowing that my ghost story began August 8th, 1969, when five people were brutally murdered at the hands of Charles Manson and his family. I'll never forget the day when I first moved in. I wake up at 1.35 in the morning and my eyes drifted down towards the corner of my bed and right about three feet off in the corner of my bed I see a gentleman. Full body apparition standing there and he's with his left hand extended. You can see the body moving and he's doing this. And I woke up and I said, okay, what's going on? I spent the next hour walking around the upstairs questioning what was this incident about? At that point, I was walking around the house, and I had felt a presence of somebody, and I said, who in the hell is this here? And I heard the words, it's Sharon. And I was flabbergasted, going, Sharon? I don't know anybody named Sharon. And then I made the connection, saying, oh, my God, it's Sharon Tate first couple of months I was in the house. There were things that I'd put on a table. I'd come back a couple of hours later to find that they weren't there anymore. And then would find them later on in another part of the house that I had not been in. How is it that it's downstairs in the third level guest bedroom? Several months ago, my friends came to the house. But when I have people come over to the house, they have a sense of fear and apprehension. You know, we decided to go up there, have some dinner, and screen a movie. And there was about, like, six of us that were going through the house. And I had my camera. As soon as you walk in, you want to walk out. It just gives you a feeling of get out. Is there anyone in here, in this room with me right now? He started shooting and taking video footage. Okay, I can't see anything. So please don't mess with me. So I was walking to the living room, and literally something felt as though it blew through me. I mean, I just got blasted, like, right, right here. 